Holy cow. You want to talk a DreamWorks movie that went 6x in its second week at the box office? Offish. The genre is drama. It's not an animated film. It stars Kevin Spacey from 1999. Kevin Spacey, 1999. I'm going to call this American Beauty. But it is. Okay. I'm a genius. <laughs> No one has the courage that I do to say that even though Kevin Spacey has been canceled, American Beauty is still like a really good movie. A lot of people put some good work in there, okay? Annette Benning put in some great work. The dude who was the dad on the OC put in some great work. Chris Cooper put in some great work in that movie. I will say, and this, this is my go-to movie when I talk about how much the world has changed in 20 years, is that in 1999, I guess, Watching Kevin Spacey have like a good and stable job that probably had a pension and be like, I'm not satisfied in my life. I'm going to ruin it. You were like, dude, he's finding meaning in his life. This is like inspirational. Now you're like, what are you doing, you idiot? You got an amazing job. Just like stay in it. Until, like go to work for eight hours. Go home to your huge house with your nice family. Treat them better. And then, like, you know, just enjoy your life and fucking die in 45 years, okay? All because you wanted to what? You wanted to bench press? You couldn't find the time to bench press because you were, you were working too much? Don't sleep with your daughter's 17-year-old best friend? You have to watch the movie, okay? It's that, like, he, there's, I'm not saying that uh, Lester Burnham is a good guy, but there is character growth that happens over the course of the movie. He doesn't sleep with his daughter's friend. Part of the uh, point of the movie is that he fantasizes it, but his own fantasy is naive. And then when it starts to manifest into reality, he's like, what the fuck am I doing? I've uh, fucked up my whole life. That's the point of the movie. It's the same people that are like, we got to cancel Robert Downey Jr. for Tropic Thunder. You don't understand? It's a satire. It's a satire. Okay. Anyway, Paramount Pictures, 1999 opens to $23 million. All I'm saying is if we start, oh, there's bad people in the movie. Yeah, they're fucking fictional characters. Get in, Enjoy the future of cinema where absolutely everything comes out on one of 35 different streaming services instead of actually going to the theaters and the entire movie is just the most realistic depiction of a panic attack ever put to screen. But the thing having a panic attack, a panic attack isn't a real human being. It's a fucking like uh, faultless cartoon animal, okay? Enjoy that. Enjoy that. 